The Masters of Education in Applied Digital Learning is a um, program that is designed for educators, uh, whether it be uh, K to 12 or higher ed educators, um, professional trainers, uh, corporate trainers, uh, all aspects of educators who are working to build a digital learning environment and promote the use of technology to enhance learning. So that is the intended audience. Um, one of the key courses in this program is EDLD 5318. This is the online and blended learning course, which I'm going to be highlighting the, the uh, instructional design on. So again, same audience uh, applies to this particular course. A key aspect of the design consideration for uh, 5318 um, is that within the Applied Digital Learning Program, we're using a, uh, an approach called uh, the COVA, where we uh, create a significant learning environment and give learners choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities. And so um, this is a key aspect that comes into play in the design of this course and, and all the courses within the uh, program. So. Um, I will be including a link to this particular page that you can uh, take a look at to get a sense of why this is going to be important. Um, other key documents that are going to be important are the online syllabus um, and the um, uh, three column table. So the online syllabus that we use at Lamar um, and the three column table and my design um, uh, outline. These are key documents that I will be using in the design of this particular course. Like all other courses in the ADL program, EDLD 5318 is an outcomes-based course because uh, the learner is going to be asked to create something real. There's an outcome. They're building a project. And in this case, we're going to be building an online blended learning course. The related design document that I'm using is um, Fink's three-column table. Um, and I've added the big, hairy, audacious goal perspective to it. Um, and I focused on not just the uh, experience, but the situational factors. So it's got the classic um, three-column table where there's a, a, a balance of outcomes, activities, and assessment um, that is uh, outlined. So this is a, a this these are the this is a key um, design or, or document that will drive the design uh, approach. The ADL program uses the assessment as learning uh, functionality in all courses, and so students are uh, required to uh, create a learning community and reflect on their experience and their contributions to their own learning and to, le to that of the learning community. So this notion of the self-differentiated instruction, the self-differentiated learner uh, perspective is built directly into the ADL program. So assessment as learning is a key aspect. Now, with assessment as learning, with the um, COA plus CSLE approach and, and the focus on the learner's mindset where learners are working on real authentic learning opportunities, the learner goes much deeper than uh, they would in many other uh, programs because they're creating something real and genuine. So this is very significant, deeper learning. There's evaluation, there's analysis, there's um, assessment, and there's synthesis and creation. So all these components come into play um, and provide for a, a very deeper learning type of a, a scenario. Um, similarly, because the learner creates their own project and they, they choose it, they own it, um, the learner controls most of the learning. Now, I should say all of the learning. Now, there is direction and guidance, obviously, from uh, myself and, and the instructors in the program, but we do focus on the fact that this is a project that is real and authentic. So the actual needs of the audience, the needs of the project, the needs of who the project will be for will address uh, the learning scenario. Now, the key design documents that I pointed to earlier on are the syllabus and the three-column table. Um, and so, again, all these three-column tables are provided in the syllabus. They're also provided on my website, and uh, they are within the course itself. And so, the alignment of outcomes, activities, and assessment is a key aspect here. Um, another key document that... Um, uh, I, I always use in my design is a uh, outline or a to-do list where I take a look at what do I need to put into the actual course. So even before I start moving from my uh, design to the actual implementation, I build out a document that allows me to sort of focus on what I need to do. And so we've talked about the program, the audience, the learner, the, you know, the, the context. Uh, the learning management system I'm currently going to be using in this program is with a Blackboard, but um, it, it really 
really doesn't matter. It could be done on Moodle or any other platform. So um, the traditional format or the format that I'm using within Blackboard uh, follows a, a similar pattern where I've got a home or start page. I've got a start here section with key components. I've got the syllabus. I've got a guideline section with key ideas. I've got a course calendar. And then in the weekly activities, or uh, this is where the modules of my course uh, exist. And in, in the uh, EDLD 5318, there are three modules. Um, and and in those modules, I have, you know, the learning outcomes, of overview video, readings, discussions, the design instruction, um, and then a, a discussion about the contributions to the learning assignment. Um, and this is this is that assessment of learning piece. And then module two follows the same format. And then module three follows a very similar fo format uh, with, you know, specifics about each instruction. Then there's a course communications, announcements, conferences, discussions, and the grading uh, perspectives and other course resources. So this, this overview review document provides a context for what I'm going to be building and it, it also provides me a bit of a checklist to see that I've done each of the components. Now in your design video you will actually have to specify the details according to your own audience your own you know project what it what the, the course is going to be. Um, you will need to identify the key components. What I'm providing here is an at minimum perspective. You will need to go well beyond what I've done to really outline uh, the details of what uh, you are doing in your particular design. Uh, you might have many other d d documents. You might have other uh, uh, accrediting uh, documents that are going to be necessary for what, it, what you're planning to do. So again, this is a bare minimum. It's a good starting point. And uh, hopefully this is a good example that you can use uh, to, uh, uh, to build on.